Right, this is a bit of a special video today for the uh, Philips FM320 slash um, 620 slash 321 slash all the rest of them. Anyway, this is a Philips FM321 and believe it or not, uh, I am actually asking a question of um, some of our very smart people on here because um, I just actually got into this one and uh, there's a few of you on here that know these uh, chassis a lot better than I do. Um, worked on a few of them obviously as an apprentice a long time ago but just trying to remember. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, on 438-500, um, as you will see here, we're getting a signal into it and we can decrease, increase, etc. And that's basically 50 microvolts down to oh, probably 2 microvolts there. So we can assume that it's probably 0.5 a microvolt uh, noise free. It's, you know, um, and all good. Okay, so I'm, I'm in repeater mode at the moment. So let's go down to 433, 500, which we'll find out that we've got um, 5 watts of output coming through. And it's a little bit off frequency, but that's minor. So what is the fault with this, with all that working? Okay, um, it's uh, an interesting one. Uh, when I change channels, as you'll hear that noise, so changing channels, um, and for the life of me, I can't remember whether they generated that um, that uh, um, <laughs> knocking noise um, through the BD136. Um, I haven't got a circuit with me at the moment, so I'm going to have to dig through my stuff. But I thought, what's better than doing that? Um, better to just come along to you guys and have a bit of a, a show you a video and say, right, what does you think? Um, there's a there's a thought going on here at the moment. Um, so at the moment with the uh, the mute, um, as you can see, the high mute will get rid of that um, uh, that there. The low mute won't there, but oh, even won't there. Well, that's interesting actually, uh, to be honest with you, because that even tells me something in the mute, mute circuit's not quite happening like it should. Oh, I know why. Change the frequency. Right, let's try that whole demo again. <laughs> God, no wonder we're not fixing this in any hurry. Uh, right, okay, so. Um, low mute, you can see it switches back in. High mute, it stays on. Um, now I'm, I'm feeding 50 microvolts into it, so let's 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 calm it down to about one microvolt. So there we'll see on low mute, it's doing its job. Um, then on um, no mute, zero, it's um, it's not muting. And on high mute, of course, it's going to knock it out. Okay, helps when you put it on the right frequency. Okay, so what it's doing um, is all very nice uh, now just as a another little illustration of what it does FM yes let's go back to 433 on the input of this and one two one two something I haven't tested yet to be honest is um, take the generator off would help help a bit one two one two turn that volume up a bit one two one two okay so that's um, sounding quite like it's deviating and doing what it should be doing one two three four five four to five kilohertz deviation so okay so for all intents and purposes um, everything on this radio good receiver uh, transmitter five watts deviations correct but we've got an issue with um, audio and uh, just in case anyone asked me yes we have got an extension speaker plugged into it uh, yes we have checked the socket and we, yes we've put a crow on the um, audio IC um, it it looks uh, sorry audio uh, transistor um, it looks to me uh, to be that, um, oh, and plus we've checked and resolded uh, all through here, of course, just to make sure that, um, you know, there's no uh, volume control. That was another little common fault from memory. As I said, this is going back a long time for me. So um, as I start getting into this, I'm sure some of you guys will give me suggestions, which I'll go, uh, bugger it, should have checked that. And I will not be um, uh, at all uh, put out if you suggest something simple because... Um, uh, trust me, I um, have my times for some of these old chassis where it takes a little while for it all to come back. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, no audio as far as um, receive actual audio, but we know we've got receiver sensitivity, uh, and that's doing what it should do. It's frequency dependent. It's doing what it needs to do there. Um, pretty much um, if I um, go up in, in the band a bit, you can see it's moving on the spectrum analyzer. And come back a bit and it's just coming back there on frequency so yeah so um, be interested to know what you guys think um, I'm I'm sort of wondering whether I mean the muting circuit seems to be working fine um, so you know you'd have to think that it's it's more a um, still an audio path um, uh, problem but um, uh, certainly um, 
um, even measured the um, uh, that little fellow there, and that's that's doing what it should do. So, yeah, a bit of an interesting one. But for some of you old farts like me that know, um, well, was around when you know Noah was a boy, and um, and the ark was being built and all that stuff, um, uh, you might have a couple of comments to to add. So um, I'll leave this on the uh, FM three twenty group on Facebook and. Uh, uh, or if anybody uh, sees this YouTube video, please, you know, uh, in the reply, feel free to put some suggestions. Me, I'll be heading down the audio path, but oh, something still, it still could be being clamped by the um, this mute circuit here. I, I know it seems to be operating, you know, like it should, as you can see, but I just, I don't know, suspicious, very suspicious. All right, 73 is VK3CM. Cheers.